to my channel. Today, I figured we could talk about skincare. Skincare is something that I've always been obsessed with and I'm always using new products. Figured I would share a little bit about some of the products I'm using, similar products. So let's get into it. Starting with face wash. Face wash is the one thing that I don't play around with. <laughs> I had hormonal acne in my 20s, which is a lot more common than people realize. You believe that once you're in your 20s, you're out of puberty, but your skin has other plans for most people. And I had really bad hormonal acne. I actually went to go see a dermatologist and ever since I have been on a medicated face wash and I just pray every single day that it doesn't stop working for me. <laughs> I start with a moisturizer with an oil added to it. Rock Retinol Correction Cream. And like, don't laugh at me. So far, I'm a little on the neutral side, especially considering this kind of has like an anti-aging reputation. It does have retinol in it. I'm not really sure if the retinol is strong enough for me. I've been around the block with the retinol. So overall, I really like this. I like the texture. It does have a little bit of a retinol like look and smell, but no real complaints, but I'm not head over heels in love with it. I don't know about you, but do you remember those ads they used to have on TV for rock and it always be like fully grown women, their face like cracking and then the rock comes in to repair it. So I always kind of felt like it was for older people, more mature people. But I think now I um, am officially in that demographic. I think I'm liking it. It's not as moisturizing as I was hoping it would be. I'm switching it up between fancy luxury moisturizers and also drugstore moisturizers. My absolute love of my life moisturizer is the La Roche-Posay. My skin is a lot happier when we're using that particular moisturizer. It's really focused on helping your skin under the surface. I don't know if this is a myth or not. I always fear that my face is gonna get too used to one thing and then it won't be as effective. I really try to switch it up. Plus, it's fun to shop around. In all of my life, La Roche-Posay products are my number one favorite. I'm a fan. I have used almost everything that they make. It's accessible. You can get them at drugstores. You can buy them on Amazon. It's kind of everywhere. Others I really like are the Leafs True Cream. I really love the Peter Thomas Raw water drench moisturizer, the Kate Somerville goat milk moisturizer, as well as the Etude House Moistful Moisturizer. I know people are gonna hate that word. They all have a similar texture, really like a thick, creamy, rich moisturizer, but everybody's different. This is just me. I don't even put my skin in a category. I just know that she's thirsty and she has a lot of needs. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, my skin is thirsty year round, except for winter when she's extra thirsty. I used to do a separate day cream and night cream, but over the years, I just found it to be too much of a hassle. I decided to simplify and just stick to one. If I'm feeling crazy, then I'll switch up the oils that I use in the daytime and the night, which is currently what I'm doing. Next, we have oils, which are really an important part of my routine. I'm trying something new and this bio oil skincare oil i didn't know that it was actually like a tiktok trendy face product but i really just bought it because i liked the packaging i'm 50 50. this oil is not really something that my skin is like drinking up at a deep level which is what i'm looking for most of the time it's sitting on the top of my face and i try mixing it into my moisturizer or i do like moisturizer and oil and then i put a sheet mask on top so everything's like going into the face it has a fragrance to it which i don't really mind i know some people are like very no because sometimes fragrance means that there's alcohol in the product which is gonna dry out your skin even more I think it's kind of nice but I get it if you don't like the fragrance everybody's different this is just me my other challenge with this product is the way that the bottle works it's one of those I don't even know what the technical term is but it's a small hole and then you kind of like shake it out I don't mind it for some things if you're using an essence or a toner but for this oil it just gets everywhere it's like all over the sides of the bottle 
I don't really love that. Overall, it's good but not great. I'm just not crazy about it. I don't know that I would do a, a repurchase. I have used a lot of higher end products, but I do find that sometimes it's like all top, no walk. Probably wasn't the wisest idea to mix everything up all at once, but it kind of just happened that way. But generally I do try to hold on to one or two products in my routine that my face knows and loves. And then I just incorporate one new product in case it doesn't work out, then we can mix that. There's a lot of oils out there, but honestly, I feel like it can be very hit or miss. My number one holy grail product is still the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Overnight Face Oil. That is like the official name. It's a long one. That is my favorite face oil. I have used Josie Marin's 100% Pure Argan Oil. I didn't find that it was as moisturizing as the Shea Moisture. And I just keep coming back to it again and again and again. Every time I get a new face oil I just use it and reminisce about how good my life was when I was using Shea Moisture. <laughs> I love it that much. And this is a good transition to the next category which is all about supplemental products. Normally I would in addition to an oil probably add like hyaluronic acid or vitamin C or some other kind of serum that has health benefits for my face. This is really a step that I use to incorporate anti-aging protective measures. I have been on a vitamin C kick. Right now I'm using this CEO Glow by Sunday Riley. I know this is like a really popular product all over the internet and I don't think I've ever used any Sunday Riley products before but I'm really liking this. At first I was like kind of not sold because it has a strong smell. It's like very herbaceous. It has vitamin C, turmeric, Evening Primrose Oil. Other products that I had were scented. It was just like a, there's a lot of competition in the olfactory category. But after using it for a while, I really like it. I don't know that I love it as much as some of the other supplements that I've used, but it's still kind of early. Like you can tell I've only really used a little bit. Normally I use this during the day. So the other oil that I just showed you, I'll make that part of my night routine. And during the day, I'll skip the oil and just go for this. And vitamin C is really great for your face because it has antioxidants in it, brightening, and it fights free radicals. It's basically anything that's in the air, like pollutants or smoke, that can really impact your skin and it kind of attacks the outer barrier of your skin so that it's not able to preserve itself. And that's how aging happens. Not that we should be scared of aging. I was using... Claire's vitamin C serum. I just finished using that and I really liked that. When I first bought it, I'll be honest, I was pretty skeptical about how effective it was going to be, but I do feel like my skin was very happy on that product. I would put that at the top and I'm kind of like very laissez-faire with these kind of supplemental things. Experiment at your own risk, but I am comfortable trying out new things on my face. From time to time, I do like to use essences just to kind of mix it up. Essences make a big difference in helping your skin absorb some of the product that you're putting on top. Essences that I've used and I really enjoy include the Caudalie Vino Perfect Concentrated Brightening Essence. CosRx has a snail mucin serum that I've used. That is pretty fun if you don't mind slimy textures. The best essence I've used, and you've probably seen her out on the internet, is the Pyeongkang Yul Essence Toner. What does that mean? I don't know. I just know that it works. And so I've covered all the basics, but I just wanted to throw in a few bonus products here. I do use sunscreen every single day. Sunscreens are also a thing that I really love to play around with. And right now I have been using the Musa Waterproof Sun Milk SPF 50. It's very different from what I normally use. My go-to is the Elta MD sunscreen. And you've probably seen that everywhere. A lot of people use it and they have a few different varieties of that product. Also big fan of 
La Roche Posay, my favorite. They have a lot of different sunscreen options. SPF 30, SPF 50, SPF 60, and it had a velvet finish. I highly recommend those. And this I actually have really been enjoying. For me, sunscreens are really difficult to gauge the effectiveness compared to other parts of your skincare routine because this really is a waiting game. I really like the consistency. It really is like a milk. The other thing that I wanted to share is a La Roche Posay product because I'm, I'm like number one fan. I actually never used any of their body creams, only face moisturizers. I know you see these ads all over YouTube all the time. I thought I would give this a try. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be, but I really like thick lotion. So if you like a thick lotion, I highly recommend. Sometimes I put this on my face because my face is that thirsty. You don't believe me, but it's true. My face really likes it. It's meant for sensitive skin. They say it's good for babies. You can put it anywhere on your body. Normally I would have qualms about putting other products on my face, but this one, no hesitation and no regrets. That's my little skincare haul that I wanted to share with y'all today. Let me know what you thought. If you have similar products that you like to use, I wanna know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.